just went for a ride about. Um, the idea was to reach out to people whom we don't normally see around the town centres, coffee shops. So we covered a fair bit of ground, but as you can see, uh, riding in the hot weather, especially now in Singapore, that's um, real uh, um, work. But um, very good to see meet with residents. Um, some of them have gone to our rallies last, last night. And uh, we feel very good at this point, so we'll continue uh, with our house visits this afternoon. We don't have a rally this evening. We'll only do one tomorrow at the uh, Bukit Gombak Stadium tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Our message continues to be to stay positive, um, not get into the kinds of mudslinging that you know, we've all expected from the PAP side. Um, but we want to focus that we, on us getting uh, our message across that um, right from day one. We are poised to take care of the town council to make sure that our um, work goes on without any hitches, right? And thereafter, to be able to maintain and uh, put some of these upgrading projects that are already in the pipeline and make sure they come to completion. And the, uh, we'll also be talking about some of the social programs that we want uh, for Bukit, Gomba, uh, Bukit Bato residents and to make sure that we the, the, these residents, the quality of their lives, uh, uh, that they are, are, are enhanced and make sure that they really understand what it means for an MP to look after their interests. Right now, okay, if things are just, they haven't experienced anything different yet. And they think that the PAP's way of doing things, of having these part time MPs going to work full time and then coming on the weekends and perhaps maybe meet the people session once a week, is, is the, the um, standard and that there can be no other way of, of doing things and that they think this is the best for them already. But that's not true. That's not, uh, absolutely not true. So we want to be able to show them that full-time MPs from the SDP can take care of uh, the needs, their concerns, a lot better than what uh, you see in PAP um, constituencies right now. Uh,这里我们最重要,呃,这件事就是把我们的那个,呃,市政理市会的事情,Town 在这里现在行动党的国会议员回来的时候这么累还哪里有时间照顾他们的事情所以在这个时候我们要跟居民讲他们真的还没有发现这怎么是叫全职的国会议员真的有跟他们有心有意的国会议员来为他们服务 uh, 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 let me let me take a look at the reports and see what what he's actually said I haven't had any and I just don't want to be um, off the cuff I just wanted to make sure I read it within the context that he gave and then to respond to it yeah Okay. And can we also ask you about what uh, Ms. Grace Fu said last night? Yes. About, I mean, she did say that you, you haven't um, been in, in, in full-time employment for a while and therefore the voters should look at a CV or, you know, get references from yes. bosses and colleagues. My best CV, my best CV is to look at this, uh, the SDP, okay, and look at our organisation. Right? You look at some of the things that we've come up with and i just give you just one example, just one example. And there's a series of... Um, alternative papers that were put up, 
right? Without that kind of an organization, and that leader must be able to, to, to be able to muster the resources, both human, you know, financial and so on and so forth, to bring together a project like this. And it's just not one paper, it's a whole range of papers touching on the most uh, important of issues that uh, healthcare, housing, education, and so on, right? Now, if we didn't dedicate our time to doing this, how do you think we were able to bring something like this up? There was a joke going on around. So SDP seems to be the uh, unpaid research arm of the PAP because, because the PAP seems to be taking our ideas. Some of the MPs are beginning to echo what we say. Right? You look at, just again, one example, minimum wage. We've been saying this for ages, right? minimum wage. PAP then comes up and calls it a different name, progressive wage model. Of course, with a lot of, of, of loopholes in there still, but still the whole idea was there, correct? Uh, to, to pay certain sections of workers that their wages cannot be below a certain level. So the whole idea was there. So they're, they're taking ideas from us, they're borrowing ideas from us. Another example would be healthcare. Years ago, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew actually said that your CPF is yours, right? And you use you see, your MediSafe, it's yours, okay? You don't pay for anybody else. Well, that's the wrong approach. Slowly, we started talking about universal healthcare, and guess what, right? Now the MOH is beginning to talk about universal healthcare and using those buzzwords as well. So you see, the whole, the, the, this is what we mean, okay? You need time, you need to dedicate your time, full time, into doing um, work like this and it's important that people understand the kind of things that go on don't don't be impressed don't be impressed by titles and wealth you know, and power instead and be impressed by dedication you know, passion uh, and compassion these are the things that that serve humanity wealth title power all these serve those individuals Okay? Whereas when we talk about some of these other issues, when you, you make sacrifices to make sure that you spend your time looking at national issues, okay, those are what is going to benefit society. And that's what we're all about. And in terms of uh, deriving my income, it's important that people understand that I write my books and I sell it during elections. Uh, and you know, those help tide me through um, the, the, the years in between. So that's important. I, you see, I, I just find it very worrying that our ministers adopt that kind of a mindset. Um, Ms. Grace Fu has come out and, and said, and I'm paraphrasing her, saying that, oh, you, you know, if you don't pay us so much money, then, you know, we won't come in and serve. Right? This is the wrong attitude for public servants to, to, to adopt. Uh, but what we want to say is, is that, um, look, money is not everything. Yes, it's important. We need it to, to survive. But you want to get rich, get out into the private sector. Go be CEO if you have the, the, the ability, the talent. But please, don't come in and demand the kinds of salaries that the ministers do and then say, oh, well, well, you, know, you know, this and so, so on and so forth is not making that kind of a money that, that, that we are. That's absolutely very off-putting, yes? I just also want to mention, it's that kind of, of thinking, you know, that after a little while, um, these people get out of touch become to get out of touch. You, you, I, I recall Mr. Morali saying, um, all people doing two or three jobs, make, uh, do, uh, you know, struggle with two or three jobs. Um, yes, he acknowledges the, the, the needs over there, but he also said, oh, they weren't doing it with passion. And he likens himself, saying, oh, I'm doing this also with passion. I say, please, you've got to be very careful. It just shows how out of touch these PAP people are. When they're making their, their tons of money, when, when, money, when they're living in these big houses, driving their big cars, they don't know how the ordinary people get by, right? So they make silly comparisons, like two or three jobs and then making passion, or when they're collecting cardboards, or they're exercising. Um, these are things that I, I think it's dangerous when you have a government and officials as government leaders um, so out of touch with the ordinary people. So how do you respond to the PAP charge that it's easy for someone who want to come, come out and be a full-time MP if he or she does not hold a full-time job in the first place? If it's so easy, ask them to do it now. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is what I'm trying to say, you see. It's, yesterday I was saying it's all about priority. Okay? And look, I, I can choose to be any one of them, right? Sitting in the, the nice offices and, and earning the kind of, of salaries that they do. But you make life's choices. I chose to serve Singapore, right? I chose to make sure that 
we spend time talking about the issues. And in order to talk about some of the issues, you've got to get to know the issues very well. Right? You, you just cannot sit in the office and say, hey, I'm doing my, my, my legal work, I'm doing my, my, my medical work, or you, you know, whatever that they're, they're engaged in. And then when I'm free, I come down and I just shake a few hands and then uh, see what I just write a few letters for them on the behalf. That's not going to cut it. You see, so this is what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to tell people right now. Um, we have come to let the PAP define how we think. And one of the things that they think is that MPs making sixteen, fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000 a month is the standard, is the acceptable way norm, right? Um, but it's not. It's not. You know how people struggle just to make $16,000 if at all, right? And, and yet, um, these uh, uh, MPs do it on a part-time basis. Meanwhile, able to hold their, still their, their full-time jobs. Um, this is what I, I, I'm trying to, to get at, you see. So we think that, okay, um, when they come in, they contract out uh, the, the town council, running a town council to manning, managing agents. And then they bring in all these volunteers coming in to do their work for them, whilst they collect their, their MP's allowance, and then go about their full-time work. And then in Parliament, hardly speak up at all. People have come to accept this as a norm. I heard here that some of the MPs are actually holding multiple directorships. People keep thinking, hey, you know, that's Singapore, right? So it must be okay. No, it's not okay. It is not okay. This is what we want to drive home in the coming rallies as well, right? It is not okay to accept uh, MPs taking home so much money and yet doing the work full time, paying minimal attention to the, the residents and, and their needs and their, their estates. So we want to, to break this kind of thinking and make sure that uh, the, the, the residents and voters know um, what should be the acceptable uh, standard. What about the PAP's charge also, that although you all have put forward a plan for transition to a town council, a new town council, mm -hmm. and that um, the SDBT might not know much about what town council management is, and this is something that consumes like the PAP town council for many years. Yeah. If they would consume them so for so many years, why did they engage managing agents? This is what I'm trying to tell you, you see. Managing agents don't do it for free. It's not it's not something they come on a volunteer basis. They charge. They charge a whole lot of money all right, to run the town council for you. All right? And this is what I, I come back to again. You, you elect your, your, the MP. The MP gets so much. And then they contract out all this kind of, of uh, um, services um, to, to profit-making businesses. That is not right. Okay? When we take over, we'll make sure that professionals come in and staff them. Right? We will do the hiring and firing ourselves without having to, to engage a middle layer. And if that's the case, then we don't have to uh, um, spend the kind of uh, um, the residence uh, fees to engage these town council managing agents. And we'll be able to save on these costs and pass back on the savings to them.每个月我们领那个薪水一万五五一万五千块他们觉得哦这个是好像很自然的每个问题不行这个不行居民要知道所以如果你有领这么多钱你应该全职当全职的国会议员你不能够来这里的时候他们靠着你交给别人做然后后
uh, many fellow SDP member speakers have uh, referred to David Ong. Uh, this, it, it, you know, this is something which we want to be very clear about. Okay, I want to make sure, all right, that all these things uh, need to to stop. All right, if it hasn't, all right, I will tell um, our speakers not to go on at this matter some more. Uh, this is uh, I. I've, Finally, uh, personally, I, I don't want something like this to go on some more. If we are going to contest, we want to contest about each other on ideas, what we want to do for the residents here. Okay? Uh, but this is something which we need to, to start to um, uh, um, pay attention to. And it doesn't, but the, the, my, my problem is that um, for us, we know, we know what's good and what's not. And we will now uh, uh, make sure that these are things that uh, whatever is, is um, off the table, we want to make sure it's kept off the table. Yeah. So you're saying that it was not your instructions to your lesson? I don't know. As I said, I, I don't know what the, uh, um, what's been said. I, I don't want to, to get that without reading some of the, the uh, um, reports. I came out this morning and just bringing, uh, doing our, our rounds already and uh, we haven't had time to go back. I'll be going back and making sure that these are things that uh, um, I'll be looking at it and address it accordingly. So I don't even know what, what this is. Let me let yeah, let me go in and let, let me let me uh, 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 take a look at this report. Your, uh, your your members are going to say this before um, the, the, the rally last night. What we want to do is, is to be able to make sure, all right, that we um, get keep this uh, kind of situation uh, off the table. All right. And as I said, these are things which I don't want to do it, and I'm the candidate, all right? And I want to make sure, if, if it was done, we will make sure we put a stop to so it. We don't want to go on anymore. there are speeches before you... you yes, we, we've always, always uh, uh, we, we want to make sure that we, we, uh, if this is something is, is not right, we want to, 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 to make sure that uh, uh, we keep it off the table, as I said. I, look, I haven't heard what uh, Mr. Lee said, and I really don't want until I read uh, the, the, the statement and the reports coming up. Uh, okay. What about the PM this morning? He also mentioned about some racist comments that were actually posted on your Facebook wall, and there isn't any filtering or there isn't any division. Or uh, what, what's your stand about the, uh, the racial? I, look, look, I, I, I've made it very clear, haven't I? Okay, um, that there are that there, there, I, you know, racism to me, you must know by now, correct? Not in fact. We have been making this statement for the longest of time. All right? If the PAP wants to talk about racism, then I refer you back to some of the comments that PAP leaders have made about the Malays. Right? Um, and I, I think that is absolutely, absolutely appalling. Stop playing politics. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Stop playing politics. Right? You, you can't pick and choose about what comments are being made on. on. What about, you know, uh, um, comments about the, uh, posted in all the Facebooks in there. It's not possible just to go through every, you know, the hundreds of comments in there. What we want to do is make sure we get everybody out. Tell them, keep on those issues. Stay away from the personal attacks. Whether it's on race, whether it's on, on what we've done, personal indiscretion, so on and so forth. Keep to the issues, all right? You continue to encourage them to do that. That's got to be um, the way we approach things, all right? But as I said, the one, what, what I'm referring to about playing games is this. They keep um, picking on things like comments on Facebook and so on. And when their party leaders are, are making all these racist comments themselves, okay? So this is what I, I, I want to, to, to get at and, and uh, try to make sure that um, all these things stop. Okay, it's just not, not edifying. I think, I, I think you know, in politics, that, sh uh, that there should be certain standards. Right. You said that your, um, you said several times that a uh, candidate who truly cares for the residents would implement his, his or her proposal whether he is uh, elected or not. So would you implement your four programs even if you're not elected? We wanted to implement all these things. The question should be put to, to the PAP MPs, sitting MPs, not, not uh, uh, in Bukit Gumba, uh, Go, uh, Bukit Bato. Right? Uh, Why we're talking about you look. would implement your in even if you are not elected? Yes. Yes. If right, um, the PAP town councils would allow us. We've been wanting to implement. Long time ago we want to conduct tuition centers. Right? Everything is no. Everything is no. Right? We wanted to do this program last uh, uh, week. Uh, Jurong Town Council said no, health screening. They said no. Okay, we were wanting to implement other programs. 
it keeps coming back and say, you know, you cannot, no, you cannot, no, you cannot. So uh, um, these are things that said should be uh, um, put uh, to uh, uh, use by, you should put the question to the PAP run town council. So if the town council are okay with you, will, you, will, you will realize Of course, this. yes, of course, yeah, okay. And, and, and sometimes it's also, you know, if you're talking about programs like these, it's not because the, the opposition doesn't want to put it, but you know they play this game with you. They say, oh, you know, it's a people's association, the grassroots, it's the government, that kind of thing. Political parties cannot. They're just splitting hairs. You know, you know that when Mr. Murali was giving out, uh, was conducting his uh, carnival, obviously he was doing it as a PAP candidate, right? Okay, but do you guys ask him, is this fair for you to do this? You come in, you pretend, you, you say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not doing this as, uh, as a PAP, but I think it was one of the reports, was it today, or, or Channel News Asia, you, but he was, he, did, he was conducting this as PAP uh, chairman of, of whatever branch that, that, that you have here. But ask him, ask him, why, why the different standards? Why one standard for, for the PAP and another standard for, for the opposition? And so these are things that I think sometimes, uh, you know, the media needs to hold this uh, up. The, the PAP accountable as well. Okay? If there are no other questions, we're going to get on with our, our, our stuff here. Thank you so much. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you.